then. No time for tears. Meet Sebastian, another of our countless microdrone allies. All named Sebastian, of course. You can't iterate on perfection. Destroy them, Sebastian, and for God's sake, be careful. Ruin Nigel's fucking day. London, once a beacon of civility, now a cesspool of lawlessness. It is clear that humanity can no longer police itself. Fortunately, we don't have to. Welcome to Project Themis. Albion has found a way to apply an existing system, LifeScore, a data aggregator of biometrics, personal information, to our new autonomous drones. These drones can identify isolate and terminate threats before they can do harm they can go anywhere see everything they could kill a man alone in an alley or in a crowd of hundreds with perfect precision Themis drones can do what humans have always struggled to act immediately and decisively Algorithm. My algorithm. I should have scrubbed it before I left. What do you mean, Hamish? You know how Themis works. No, fam. Well, yeah. This was years ago. We were developing a life score algorithm for what Cass called a peacekeeping system. Supposed to identify vulnerable civilians, not target them. Bloody hell. So in theory, Themis could be programmed to target anyone based on any number of parameters. Exactly. That's the way Cass thinks. Genius, but twisted. We have to stop this. And I know how. We delete the life score data, and Themis is done. My God. All right. Done and done. Yes, we'll have the award ceremony another time. Get out now. This may be entertaining. I've intercepted an audio transmission from Nigel Cass. 
advantage. No, no more excuses. This is my city, and I will not have DedSec ruin my plans for it. Themis was poised to change London, the world. And this group of... And Hamish fucking Balaji? I want them all! They made you all look like fools! They walked calmly into the White Tower, and no one, not one of you, stopped them with all our vaunted security measures. So do any of you have anything to say? Nothing. Well, everyone, and I mean everyone in the organization, will be refitted immediately. Someone help them, that's certain, and we will root them out. Auto drive this now time, disabled. we will get them all. Well, that's about done it. Cass is going to steam about this for a while. No more life score, no more Themis. You did it. We couldn't have done it without your help, Hamish. Next time Nigel Cass starts causing trouble, we might just have to call on you again. Uh, not much of a joiner, fam. Considering how my days at Albion ended. But I'll be keeping watch on them and Cass. Maybe feed you lots of intel. And there's still the question of Zero Day. Remember them? Completely gutted DedSec 1.0. Cass had a hand in that purge, Bagley, and in the bombings. So we'll gladly accept any help you can give us, Hamish. Cheers. In the last adventure of Detective Bagley and his occasionally helpful human sidekicks, we discovered that a billionaire tech mogul and a war profiteer both had secret plots to exploit human suffering and murder thousands. A shocking twist, I know. Speaking of the people we most suspect, Mary Kelly's slave trade is bound to be any day now, and we also just received a distress signal from a coffee shop of all places. Maybe the Wi-Fi is down or something. Now disabled. Is that relevant, Bagley? Yes, obviously Auto there's more to it than available. that, but I knew I had to make a joke where you just tune it out. I've marked both leads on your optic. Getting close. All right, you're here. Let's find the thing. I'm right here! Oh, 
your fucking problem. What am I even looking at here? This is strange. One of our servers is being pinged constantly from the Wi-Fi of a particular Star Roger coffee. Why do I care? Yes, I thought it was noise at first too, but then I decoded the pings. It's Morse code. Three letters repeating over and over. Go on. S O. Wait for it. S. Suppose we should check it out. Forward me the coordinates. Someone else sloughed off work, and now it's your turn. Let's rock. I just can't handle this right now. All right, we're here. What now? There doesn't seem to be any obvious peril, does there? Have a seat, and I'll ping back the IP, sending us the distress signal. Um, miss? <laughs> uh, thanks for the flip phone, I guess. But I'm confused. It's a cryptophone. It's secure. Every device on CTOS can be compromised. If we're overheard, we're dead. Both of us. Who is this? Not important. What matters is that I have inside information on S-I-R-S, -S, and I believe the people who framed you are rogue officers. And loath as I am to say it, dead sec may be my only hope to stop them. All right, we'll listen, but no promises. Good. I hid coordinates to a meeting place on a device in that establishment. Bagley, Sabine, what are we walking into here? All right, that's a wrinkle. So this SARS bloke says Zero Day are a bunch of Secret Service dickheads. I mean, I suppose it does make sense. The bombings were too sophisticated for randos, but SARS could pull it off. 
Officially, SIRS, or the Signals Intelligence Response Service, uses surveillance data drawn from CTOS to identify large-scale terrorist and criminal threats. Then they send Albion to shoot the threats in the face, for example. And in the wake of escalating violence in London, the SIRS is extending the right to use lethal force to law enforcement and Albion securities. Unofficially, SIRS uses your data to read your mind and arrest you for having naughty thoughts. So we have means and opportunity, which leaves motive. SARS are fascist pricks, but they're supposed to stop groups like Zero Day from doing terrorist shite. Why cause one? When you meet this guy, ask. Well, if it isn't the old wank state, why are you here? Look, can't we have a civilized discussion? I don't really feel like talking right now. Please, I'll take it. Hey, don't worry. Dead sex here for you, mate. Ain't no one here, but looks like someone was done in proper. What should we do? SIRS may be onto him. If you get access to the area's surveillance infrastructure, I can rebuild the scene in AR. I'll see what I can do. I just don't know what to think. This won't end well for you. Oh shit! You shouldn't have that. All right. What are you doing here? I ain't seen nothing, Gov. What do you mean? Wait. You don't look... Oh, bollocks. You're undercover, aren't you? Trying to see if I'll talk, eh? Ain't gonna happen. Easy, mate. I ain't seen nothing. Turn to the scene and I'll reconstruct what happened to our contact. Can't be real. Can't be real. 
That appears to be our contact. Fucking hell! Yes, it certainly doesn't look like his best day, does it? Analyze the clues in the AR workspace to find out what happened to him. This is a non-lethal weapon, so odds are he's still alive, though he may not want to be. They've taken our SIRS contact away, but they may still be nearby. I can reconstruct the vehicle's path from unsecured CCTV recordings. That should allow you to follow it. Reconstruction's nearly finished. So's our contact if you don't hurry. Looks like our contact's assailants stopped here, but I can't see them nearby. Let's analyze the data to see if we can find out where they went. CTOS AR, data reconstruction in progress. Our contact's assailants are switching vehicles to elude pursuers, which is standard operating procedure for private military perks like Albion. Fucking Albion? You sure it's not sirs? What can I tell you? They're mercenaries. If you keep looking, you might find out why they're interested in an SRS whistleblower. I've completed a thorough analysis of the vehicle and concluded it is a van. Thanks, Sherlock. But what else? Well, I could also mention that the minute traces of sand in the tire tracks indicate that it's been on a construction site recently. But you know me. Hate to sound like a smart ass. I've been scanning nearby construction yards for Albion activity and, long story short, some dozy git has forgotten to turn off the security camera in the makeshift torture room. Let's see it then. Uh, I'm not who you think I am. Uh, 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 you're Malik, a SERS officer and a leaky fucking twat. Uh, 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 uh. It's not me. I swear to God. Please. Please. 
dickhead's got himself caught. Cool. What, is he maybe. thick or something? Bags, drop me a pin, I'll take care of it. Oh, easy, yeah? I'm with DeadSec. You called us. Of course. You shouldn't have come here. Now they'll know for sure I've betrayed them. We just saved you, asshole. No, you've just damned us both. Look, um, I'll upload the intelligence onto an anonymous FTP. It'll explain everything. Or you could explain everything, yeah? My name is Richard Malik. I'm an intelligence analyst. I believe Zero Day are rogue SIRS officers who framed you for the bombings to seize power. Now they're murdering or blackmailing anyone who threatens them, which now somehow includes me. All right, let's see what our boy Bagley makes of this shit. I better not regret this. That I can't promise. Malik has made his way out, and now I suggest you do the same. Hey! Hey, you!
This is no good. Check their last known position. This is our chance to take down those fucks at Sarsbam. Let's check that intel ASAP. All right, one second. Okay, Bagley, check his intel, then organize a briefing. Attendance mandatory. We can't see all the angles here. I don't like it. We should walk away. That's stupid. Absolutely. If you can, if you can. Statistically, good fitness habits make you much harder to kill. Ready? Not a problem. security.
shit. Hell! Shit, we got a body! Darcy. Darcy, if you're listening to this, things are even worse here than I thought. Lucas, I hope you find this. I'm sorry we fought so much the day you left. I'm still really cross with you for running off to London and making me come after you, but still, I'm sorry. God, you were just being so stupid. I couldn't get through to you. Being an assassin is not about running headlong into things. We take our time, hide in the shadows, wait for the right opportunity to strike. I guess I should have explained all that better without yelling, but... But you should know all this already. <sighs> God, this is supposed to be an apology. I'm sorry. Please, let's go home.
headset calling. You're up. On it. Hack successful. Get your ass over here for an ID check. Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive. I didn't see you. Huh? What was that? What the oh. hell am I looking at? Lucas, I know you have this bright idea about how our ancestors single-handedly saved London from the Templars before, so why can't we do it again? 
But there's more to the story, isn't there? They had a whole gang behind them, and help from another assassin. Some of the most brilliant people ever born were their allies, and our ancestors still had a tough time fighting. We don't have anybody. Just the two of us. Not that I'm saying I'm helping you on this mad quest, but still, I've made my point. Our ancestors were nearly killed many times over. We could be killed just as easily. Lucas, I know you have this bright idea about how our ancestors single-handedly saved London from the Templars before, so why can't we do it again? But there's more to the story, isn't there? They had a whole...